Half of all college presidents say they have increased security on campus, and key card entry is often one of the ways they've done it. But some of those cards, which can also be used to gain access to offices or even make purchases, may not be as secure as you think. Jim Murray explains. ID key cards. We swipe them and tap them everywhere, using them to unlock doors at office buildings and even college dorm rooms. But just how secure are these magic ID cards? Tens of thousands of college students across the country are issued electronic IDs just like these. They use them to buy meals on campus and to gain access to their dorm rooms. They may think they're completely safe. Guess again. It's just this easy for a perfect stranger to gain access to a college dorm. So how does it work? Using this device. If I just go like that and boom, this is a copy of that so card. This In literally two to three seconds. Those are identical now. We won't show you, but security expert Walt Augustinowitz of Identity Stronghold says it's easy for criminals to get the parts online to build a card cloner just like his. This light right here, when that flashes, it's detecting a card in there. And, that's and once the cloner reads the tiny radio chip embedded in the card, Walt can clone a phantom key of your card onto another. All they have to do is push a button, and it's a... As simple as bang, and then it's a clone. So we came to Northern Arizona University and tried to electronically pickpocket students, with their permission, of course. In the blink of an eye, Walt's cloner was able to scan and steal these freshmen's IDs, even through their pockets and backpacks. This is the card that we cloned. Mm -hmm. Look at that. How does that make you feel? Pretty unsafe. We just made a clone of your card that fast. You can do that? Yes. That's terrifying. Every student we've talked to has been vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And all of them will be. Don't panic, though. While this technology may be vulnerable, Walt says the good news is there's a simple and cheap fix. It's like putting an on-off switch on your card. For just a few dollars, many companies like Walt's sell card protectors like these that will prevent anyone from cloning your ID card or credit card. Just do that. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, now you're safe. Nobody we gave every student we spoke with a card protector and destroyed the cards we cloned. You could be saving somebody from a potential assault. Absolutely. A spokesman for Northern Arizona University tells us they've taken immediate action to protect their students.